Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time, Japan Sumo Association's official YouTube channel. I'm Hiro Muta. Today I'm in Ryogoku, the district known as Sumo Town. In this place, wherever you go, you will run into many sumo related objects. And right in front of the train station, I can see the Kokugikan, the home of sumo. Three grand tournaments are held each year at the place. And that is exactly where we are taking you today, to the center of sumo universe, Kokugikan, to find out what the place is all about. Sumo prime time. Kokugikan is situated on the east side of Tokyo. It's near one of the city's iconic landmarks, the Tokyo Sky Tree. Colorful banners welcome the spectators during grand tournaments. Names of popular wikishi are written on them. Completed in 1985, Kokuikan has been home to countless unforgettable matches. The suspended roof above the dohyo is a reminder that in the old days, the sumo matches were held at shrines. The tassels hang from each corner of the suspended roof. They represent four gods of seasons. Yobidashi decorate the roof with the tassels before each tournament. All right, let's see how things are on the upper deck. Total of 32 championship portraits hang from the rafters. Three times a year, two oldest portraits are removed and are replaced by the two newest. I'm at the upper deck of the Kokugikan in the back row, but I can see everything so clearly. So wherever you sit in the Kokugikan, you get a great view of the action. Sumo prime time. Once you step inside the Kokugikan, you feel as though you've been transported back in time to the Edo period, which is roughly about 200 years ago. Now this is the tea house street where the ushers guide the customers to their seats and offer various services. The ushers who wear distinctive baggy trouser outfits assist the spectators in every way to make their Kokugikan visit cozy and memorable. This is Sumo Museum, located inside the Kogika. The place offers many intriguing exhibits throughout the year. Let's check it out. Do you know who this is? Yes, he is former Yokozuna Grand Champion, Kaku Ryu. Look at him first when he came to Japan. He was so thin, but anyway, Takeru is being featured in the museum right now. So you can find many displays of Kakuri related items throughout the museum. It's great. A calligraphy by Kakuru from the early days of his pro career. So many priceless items. It is definitely a place you have to check out. Sumo Prime Time. Various souvenir items of popular wikishi can be purchased at the shops. Wow, look at this cool t-shirt. Wow, what do you think? Nihon Ozumo. Stable masters are active in producing and selling the souvenirs. The 62nd Yokozuna Grand Champion Onokuni knows the right way to treat the fans. He makes sure they have the time of their lives. Small prime time. During a grand tournament, 
the basement banquet hall is used as a dining room for the fans to enjoy chanko nare hot pot stew. Fans form a long queue to get a taste of the sumo stew. Needless to say, it's so tasty. Sumo prime time. At last, but not least, how about taking you to a very special place which isn't normally shown to the public? Alright, I'm in front of this big door and inside is a restricted area usually but I have a permission, special permission to go inside and check it out. So uh, let's go inside and find out what this place is for. Yes, this is the shitaku bear, the rikishi's dressing room. There are two shitaku bear, one on the east side and the other on the west. All right, here is the seating order in the shitaku bear dressing room. The lower the rank, you sit in front. The further in the back are the seats for the higher rankers. Of course, that means Yokozuna Grand Champion sits in the way back, right over there. I'm now sitting where the Yokozuna Grand Champion can normally sit and uh, oh man, this is a special honor. What a view! Rikishi used the shitaku bear to get themselves ready for their upcoming bout. The routine includes doing warm-up exercises and coming up with the strategy. And when the match is over, they return to the shitaku bear to clean the body before they head home. All right, let's now take a peek inside the shower room. Wow, look at the bathtub. It's so big and it's so deep. Man, I think I can swim in this thing. Wow, it's almost like a swimming pool. Sumo prime time. Alright, we hope you enjoyed our Kokugikan tour. For sumo fans, this is the center of sumo universe where not only they can watch live sumo matches, but also can learn almost everything about sumo, especially how it is operated during grand tournaments. I really hope to see you at the Kokugikan someday, so please visit Japan and come to the home of sumo, Kokugikan in Tokyo. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.